Hi! In this video I'm going to teach you how to make a 3D animation on Blender and convert that animation to pixel art. So we are going to start, we are going to go to Blender, right? And here I have this object. So the first thing we are going to do is to animate this object. So I'm going to bring the timeline here. Let's see here. I'm going to create an empty, control A, empty. I'm going to use a sphere, All right? I'm going to parent this object to the empty, right click this object, shift, right click this one, control P, object, All right? We're going to press N to bring this menu up. I'm going to make the end of the animation to the frame 60, going to the first frame, all right, I'm going to come here to rotation and right click, insert single keyframe. I'm going to go to the frame 61. So one frame after the animation. So the animation has a nice loop. And I'm going to insert here 360 degrees, right click, insert single keyframe. All right, it is important that you do it this way because if you go with R, Z, and 360, it won't work nice, right? Let's see how that's looking. As you can see, the loop is really bad. So we are going to come here. We are going to have a new window. We are going to change this to the graph editor. We are going to press A to select everything. And we are going to go to key interpolation mode, linear, All right? And now we have a smooth animation, perfect. We are going to add a camera, here we have it. We are going to press zero to go to the camera and lock camera to view. And now we are going to choose to move like we do in the normal viewport. And I'm going to lock this camera to the side, moving, rotating, and with Alt, you lock the camera. I'm going to change the camera to an orthographic camera and change the scale here. All right, Control Z to go to the render mode. In my case, I have an HDR on the wall. I'm going to delete this here and I'm going to change this to something like this. We are going to make a material for this, new material. We are going to change the surface to tune BSDF. It is important that you are on cycles. All right. Let's see how that's looking. We are going to add a light, lamp, going to use a sun, right? Going to disable the camera to view. I'm going to get out of the camera. And we are going to rotate the sun. Like this. That's looking fine. We are going to decrease the size of the sun to zero. So we have that hard edge, right? And let's keep playing with the material. We are going to change the color. You can also play with the size here. Let's make it something like that. Right, and that is working nice for now. We are going to modify some render settings, so I'm going to put this to 100. And as we want this to be pixel art, we are going to render this at a really low resolution. So, for example, I'm going to use 32 by 32, like that. I'm going to modify 
the orthographic scale. So more things that we need to do. Film, we are going to check transparent. So we have a transparent background. And let's see what else. We want to have any bounces of light. And also here on film, we are going to change this to Gaussian and we are going to decrease the size to the lowest we can. This way we are going to get rid of the anti-aliasing. Let's choose a folder for the output. All right. We are going to choose PNG. It is important that you have RGBA. So you have the alpha, the transparent background. Uh, let's make a test. All right. So that's how it's looking right now. It's looking very nice. And we are going to render the animation. The only thing we are going to do is come in here to frame step. In my case, I don't want a really fluid animation being in pixel art. So I'm going to make a frame step my V of four. So instead of rendering each frame, it's going to render each four frames, right? Animation and it's going to start to render our animation. All right, so it's done. We are going to come here to output and here we have our animation. But we still need to make some things. In my case, I'm going to open Krita. You can work with other software, but in my case, I like Krita is also free and open source. And it has some really interesting tools that will help you do some things with this animation. So we are going to create a new file. 32 by 32. Let's make this like this, create. Here you have the layouts, the workspaces. You are going to choose animation. All right. We are going to go to file, import animation frames, add images. We are going to choose this folder and we are going to select all the files. Accept. All right. And here we have on the timeline the animation. Our last frame is the frame 14. So I'm going to change the end to 14. And let's see the speed is too fast. So I'm going to change the frame rate to 12 maybe. Maybe 8. Then, yes, that is fine. And I'm going to change the background to something more clear, like this. All right, so as you can see in some frames, we have some pixels like this. So the Gaussian. This thing that we chat here, the Gaussian, let's see here on film. This is as slow as it can go. So you will still have some anti-aliasing and things like that. Most likely there is a way to disable anti-aliasing on the render it at all, but I don't know how to do it. Maybe it's very easy, maybe it's very complicated. But here on Krita, we have a way to get rid of the anti-aliasing. So we are going to make a new layer. In my case, I already have one here. I'm going to color pick this, right? And paint it here and also this color. Going to right click on the layer, add, filter mask. And I'm going to add an index color filter here on artistic. All right, going to go to bright, going to click this, color pick this. So I guess that my students from my pixel art courses already know how to use Krita. All right, we are going to make the in-between ramps to zero. We are going to limit our colors to two. And I'm going to disable this here, those two, 
and as you can see we have the color cone now it's two all right so this way we get rid of all the anti-aliasing right we can delete this layer so you will still need to make some manual corrections to your animation all right so you can come here and fix some of this noise also on the outline but in general this is a really fast way to make fluid animations similar to rotoscoping not quite but you still can make some interesting stuff there is a game called death cells which uses this technique with the characters and else and it's a really good technique to improve on and practice it is also important to know that if you have for example a character you can make each piece of each arm each leg the head from a different color you can render it without any shadow and you can export that eliminate the anti-aliasing and you can paint inside each shape or each color and that way you have the animation and you can paint like you would on a normal pixel art sprite so i hope that you have liked this video and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching if you want to support my channel you can like the video share it and subscribe you can also turn the notification bell so you can get a notification each time i upload a video if you want, you can also support the channel by buying my courses. This way, you will support me and yourself with education. My courses are mostly related to game art. Links will be in the description. Thanks.